75th home opener at the stadium. Joe DiMaggio throwing out the first pitch and the Yankee Clipper very better than David Cohn. Tough day for him. He went four and a third. Give up 11 hits and nine earned runs. Bond with the third. Yanks down 5-2. Tino Martinez off Jimmy Haynes. First homer of the year for Martinez. We're even at five. He was three for four with five RBI. Bottom four Yankees in front, 7-5. Daryl Strawberry, he was two for three. The double down the right field line off Aaron Small brings up Derek Jeter and Bertie Williams. Yanks up 9-5. They scored 12 straight runs in this game, but the A's coming back. Top of the fifth, Jason Giambi, he was three for six. The single pass, Martinez, Jason McDonald, Ben Grieve, they score part of an eight-run inning. We're even at 12. Joe Torre, bobbing. Top of the six. A's trail 16-13, two out. McDonald on second, Grieve. The fly ball to center field, Bernie Williams on the run, and yes, there actually was some defense in this game. The beautiful diving grab to save a run. Bottom seven, it's Joe Girardi, the former Northwestern Wildcat up there already. Three for four, the single off Buddy Groom, the fifth A's pitcher of the day. Chad Curtis comes in to score two RBI for Girardi, his average up to 308. Yanks in front, 17-13, top of the ninth, it's Matt Stairs, fly ball left field, Chad Curtis makes the catch. And that perhaps a metaphor for the entire game, as 30 runs in all in this one, that the most ever scored in the 75-year history. To Fenway with the Secretary of Defense throughout the first pitch. Quick, who's the Secretary of Defense? That's William S. Cohen, Bill Cohen to his friends. Effortless segue to more defense, Damon Buford, the nice catch. Bottom of the fifth, still scoreless, Randy Johnson. Johnson gets Mo Vaughn three straight times here. 15 Ks for Johnson, his 12th 15 strikeout game since turning 30, adding to his own major league record. Nolan Ryan second with eight. Ninth inning, Heathcliff Slocum pitching with a 7-2 lead, facing Darren Bragg, and that his only hit of the game. The end of the right field corner scores a run. 7-3 M's. Lou Pinella yanks Slocum for Tony Fossis. There's Tony. Full count walk to Mike Benjamin, his first batter. Pinella yanks Fossis in favor of Mike Timlin. He'll solve things right now. Nomar Garcia Parra, the bloop single to center. Garcia Parra, one for three, cuts it to 7-4. Slocum Fossis in a trance. <laughs> Next up, John Valentin. Base is loaded. Timlin. Timlin with the 2-2, two -two, and he hits back. Nails him, forces in a run, cuts it to 7-5. Pinella assumes the position. Goes to Paul Spolgerich. 7-5 Mariners, bases loaded. Mo Vaughn, Mo Vaughn has no boundaries. His seventh career grand slam. Red Sox seven runs off the M's bullpen in the ninth. The bullpen didn't get anyone out. They completely collapse. Red Sox seven in the ninth to win it. Boston ending a three-game skid in which they had totaled just three runs. First pitch, we all know who he is. Top of the third, Indians up 2-1. Runner on third, Bartolo Colon facing Jim Edmonds. Great play, Omar Vizquel, winner of five straight gold gloves, showing you why. Saving a run there, getting Edmonds at first. Top of the ninth, Indians up 5-4. Mike Jackson on a relief. Runners in the corners, two outs. Garrett Anderson to single the right. Edmonds scores to tie it at five. Bottom ten now, two outs, two men on for Jim Tomey. The pitch. Swung on, line deep to left field. Away back, and it is gone. Jim Tomey with a game-winning three-run homer. More drama. Personal seat license. Eddie Bennis there, left with a 4-2 lead. Reliever Felix Rodriguez on the mound, two outs in the ninth. Runner on third, and it's a walk to Mark Sweeney. Men on first and third. Next man up, Julio Veras, and on a 2-2. Oh, he almost punched him out. So close, but no strike three. So, almost over, but not yet. And the next pitch, Veras draws the walk. Bases loaded, still down two. Steve Finley up at the plate. Two outs, bases loaded, and oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh no, says Andy Venice. And oh, out. Grand slam home run. Game winning grand slam home run. Rodriguez consoled by Bennis after the loss. Good sportsmanship there, trying to pump up his teammate. But what a win and what a loss. Padres all the way back. 2-1, two, 2 on, J.T. Snow, and Mark McGuire mishandles the ball. Two runs will score on Todd Stottlemyre. Snow, 3 for 4 with two RBIs, 3-2 three, Giants. Bottom of the eighth now, game tied at three, Snow at third. Marvin Bernard singles to right. That'll score a run. Pinch hitter, 1 for 1. Driving that in, the Giants take it 5-3. to three. New closer, Rob Nen, works the ninth, gets his second save. Astros and Dodgers, top of the fifth. Astros down 1-0, Ramon Martinez pitching, Moises Alou, deep. 
This Todd Hollinsworth just... going back in front of the 55 world champion Dodger Mural pulls it back. Hollinsworth caught it. That was a home run. Martinez says, wow, that's good. And for me, take another look, pulls it back. Was a home run. Not this time. Bottom of the eighth. Dodgers lead it 3-2, two, two outs. Bases loaded with Dodgers. Got it. Mike Piazza. Deep and gone. Grand slam for Piazza. Third homer of the season. Second straight game of the Grand Slam. Three for four with four RBIs. The Dodgers take it. Two hours. Top of the fourth. It's Schilling facing Chipper Jones. That Chipper's only hit of the game. The base hit to right center. Chipper trying for two. Might as well the way the Braves were hitting Schilling. And Doug Glanville nails him at second. Top seven now. Schilling gets Michael Tucker swinging. Andres Galarraga swinging. Ryan Klesko looking. Schilling, 10 Ks, just one walk. But Maddox just as good. Bottom seven, Scott Rowland. Right on the outside corner, Mike Lieberthal swings and misses. Then it's Rico Brunia swinging. The four-time Cy Young winner through eight scoreless innings. Bottom nine after they had yanked Maddox. Mike Cather in there pitching to Mike Lieberthal. The single to center. Greg Jeffries coming around, and he is in there. And for the Schilling feeling good. Lieberthal with the big hit. He was two for four in the game. Schilling gets his 11th career shutout, winning the duel again. Seeing the Brewers for the first time ever. Bottom of the second, Jeremy Burnett's first at bat against his former team, facing Dave Malicki, and Burnett says, be seeing you. He didn't literally say it, but he said it with his actions. The shot over the center field fence, 407 feet, is sixth of the year, 1-0 Brewers. Top third, still 1-0. Mets, bases loaded, two outs. Jeff Juden facing Butch Husky on the 2-2 pitch. Husky goes fishing husky left seven runners on in the game H. he will miss his sunday start though because of sore groin muscle bottom of the first scoreless bases loaded pudge rodriguez and jose cruz jr the outstanding catch to end the inning no score after one jose canseco on rick helling deep and gone his first of two homers on the night 2-1 blue jays bottom of the seventh same score bases loaded Juan Gonzalez, chopper, and oh, no, Ed Spray couldn't get it. That'll score one. Two runs will score. Roberto Kelly, Mark McMore. Rangers go up on top. Bases showing just how important that stat is. Bottom of the first already, 1-0 Detroit. Bobby Higginson going deep off Doug Trabick, who came in with a 2.45 ERA, left with a 6.35 ERA. Higginson's first of the year, 2-0 Detroit. Tim Morrell in control. Top of the seventh gets Ozzy Gian to hit into the 1 6 3. Morrell scattering five hits over seven. Pitch of the game. This is a bad sign for Felipe. First pitch of the game, Brent Brown off Mark Valdez. Three for five with four RBIs. His first home run of the year comes up one zip. Later in the first, still one zip. Morandini on second, Sosa on first. And oh, Henry. Henry Rodriguez rocks one out. Three run home run. Valdez lasted a third of an inning, gave up five earned runs. That'll hurt the ERA. Kevin Tappany, complete control. Bottom of the ninth, Vladimir Guerrero up, and Kevin Ori, beautifully done. Gets Guerrero, Cubs take it 13 to nothing. Expos can't wait till these guys are off the schedule for a while. Cubbies free agent signee, Darryl Kyle, first start at Coors Field. New fans, and hey, Chris Steins, deep. Second home run of the year. He was four for six. He scored three runs. One nothing Reds. Top of the seventh. Reds trailing four three. Barry Larkin, first hit of the year. Two run double off Kyle. Larkin one for four. Next batter, Eddie Taubensee. Bloop single off Kyle. He was three for four with four RBIs. With the numbers, you getting the idea. Kyle didn't last. Top of the eighth. Dave Veers on the mound. Eduardo Perez three run home run. His first. It's a slaughter and not in his country slaughter. Eighteen to seven. Glad you got that, Dave. Reds hammer away, and the Rockies have no answer on the hill. They now have a league-high ERA of 8.25. Darryl Kyle was supposed to help that, but after giving up five runs in six innings against the Astros last time out, he gives up eight runs in six innings.